Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive. Well, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, I know this has come up numerous times in the news about, um, like, Drag Queen Story Hour where they're, like, reading to children. Ooh. And... All and, right. like, people come up getting a big hubbub because there are people reading to kids that are trans or right. drag queens or both. All right. Uh, Jones, what's your take on this, man? I mean, I feel the what's, way I look at it, man. What's your take? I remember being a kid and hearing about drag queens. Do you? I do. Like, not like a, a ki tiny kid. But, like, there was, I mean, remember the movie Tu Wong Fu with Patrick Swayze and no. Wesley Snipes? They literally dressed up as women in that movie. And I was, no, I was when no, that came out. No, I was black nose. We didn't we watch that in my household. <laughs> we didn't watch it in mine either, but I knew it was out. I went no, to the video I, I store. Did, I didn't know. It you didn't go to the video store? I've never, I knew Tu Wong Fu existed, but I don't know what it was I've never about. watched it. Anyways. I know it had gays in it. Wow. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, you know, it, there's a big hubbub because, you know, nowadays they're like, well, should you be exposing children to people who are trans, you know, things like that. Right. right. So my take is d kids are exposed to a lot of stuff, man. I figured that is one of the least worst is things it? they're exposed to. They're, they can get, they can get to porn in one click. I feel Yikes. like, I feel like getting to hardcore porn Jesus. is a little worse than watching a man in a dress reading a story to you. So Jonas, I approach you and I'm a hard biting Republican. All right. Oh, a hard, a hard Biden Republican. Hard biting. Biden. Oh, I was like, what? Okay, so you're like, a, are you like far right? Like, I don't want my kids around no transsexuals. What do you tell me? Your kids, are, your kids are exposed to not my kids, <laughs> not my. What do you tell them? What person? I don't need to tell you. That's your choice. You do what nah, you want. Because do you feel like that person is in the wrong for their discrimination because they're like, I don't want their kids around. I feel they are uneducated, just the same as racist. So what do you do to educate that person, Jonas? Ask You ask them why they feel that way. I don't want my kids around no transsexuals. Why? Because it's gay. Why do you think that? I don't want my kid being gay. It, it ignorant. There's just straight. Is, your, is this straight? Yes, up ignorance. ignorance is guaranteed, Jonas. Obviously, we already right. know they're ignorant. And if they're not opening, but not, how do you enlighten ignorance? If they don't want to be taught, you can't. It's like people who live in the South and are in the KKK. You try to teach them about minorities all day long. They don't want to hear it. It's by happenstance they're exposed to a minority, and they're like, "Oh, wow, so how, everyone's just like me." So how do you explain these these transsexual story hours, Jonas? How do, how do you, you explain how, them? Yeah, how do you explain what that? What do you need to explain? It's a person reading to kids. Well, when it comes down to it, the whole problem is that there's a certain subset of people who have a problem with it. Right. The whole idea is that we have to, in some way, diffuse their trepidation towards this thing by letting them know that it is not a malicious, it is not brainwashing, it is not necessarily with the intention to turn your child gay. How do you bring that thought That's process? That's a great question. I don't know. Okay. I don't. Okay. How, how, I'm, let me ask, how do we do that? I would say is that the only way to battle hate is through immersion. Yeah, exposure. And I would also say is that there are a certain subset of children out there who experience these these whole ideals of they don't understand who they are on the inside. And we have gone through countless ages, countless years of these kids going through just like mental jumping jacks, trying to figure it out. And the idea is that they could see somebody and say, I identify with that person. This person tells me that the way I'm thinking is okay. Right. And that I am a normal person is beneficial to the child who that resonates with. No, I agree. And to the child who that does not resonate with. And like me, if I see that person, I'm like, oh, this person's normal. This person's reading a book. I'm enjoying my time. I'm having a good time with this person. They don't mean me any necessarily and mean me any harm. And I don't think that they're weird for the way that they are. I think that 
is how you combat the hatred. Yeah. Yeah. But let's let's get on to your story. Okay. Let's so get on to your story. The purpose that I bring it up is yeah, yeah, yeah. in general, I don't think there's a problem with it, right? Like it'd be it's it's the same as like back in the day. Nor do I. When racism was running rampant, I'm sure there was a point where people like they're like Jackie Robinson's gonna be an African American baseball. What do you mean you're gonna let somebody who's African American play baseball? It's it's that story in a different way down the road, right? J- Jones Stone slaves. <laughs> <laughs> so so i don't see the problem in general so but then then you add another layer on it the story that happened this week is there was there was a drag queen doing a story hour yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know right now there's a very hot topic about the israel palestine war that's going on oh my god you know between this and college campus stuff which we may talk about tomorrow you know people are very divided about this hmm. and so there was a a a, a story hour, and it the, the messages were a little controversial. So do you want to play the video and then we'll talk yeah, about it from let's, there? Let's see. Let's see yeah. the video. I have not seen this video, Jonas. So. Yeah. So I want your honest reaction to this. So here is a drag queen story hour. If you're watching at home, if not, you can hear it. But all right, go. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shout "Free Palestine." Can I hear that? Okay. So, <laughs> for for those for those of you, I don't know if you can hear it or not. Basically, they're standing up there and they say, "If they for they say, all there's a ton of kids and they're like, let's all say together, free Palestine.' The kids Yikes. say, free Palestine.' Which Yikes. obviously some of the parents probably are not okay with that. Then they go on to say, "If, if you're, you're a drag, drag queen and, and you know it." it Say, say free, free Palestine, Palestine. again. They, and then the third time he says, if you're really a drag queen and you know it, Yikes. say free Palestine. Yikes. What do you think about that TNT Dynamite? That that story hour. Okay, so this is... Mm. You want to know the thing about revolution, Jonas? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting at putting our guy Fox masks on, we, and we have to we have to go this this route because okay. this is the only way I can go about it. Okay. The thing about revolution yeah. is that it is pure. Revolution is always pure in its essence. It is meant to free people from oppression. Okay. And I, I, I feel, will. I will. I will get on board that. Yeah, hundred percent. And I feel that even drag queens have been oppressed over years. Oh. Absolutely. And even to this day where, you know, there's crimes being committed. We know, let's not even get into like oh, right, right. Emmett Till, all that bullshit. Right. We don't need to do that. But to a certain extent, they have been oppressed or, you know, kind of held uh, yeah, back, exactly. made fun of. They've been the butt of jokes. Whatever. Yeah, attacked, whatever. Physically, mentally, verbally, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So revolution is pure. Okay. But people, we fuck up everything we touch. Yes. People fuck up everything we touch. Religion is pure. But people, a corrupt pastor, a priest who decides that people he wants are to start in wars because you like a different God, like any of that. A priest that decides <laughs> he wants to touch young boys. Look, yeah. People fuck things up. But we cannot sit here and necessarily blame the acts of a priest or the words of this transsexual as antithesis to the revolution the revolution is important this person fucked up <laughs> that's what all i gotta say man. yeah like that shit was wild like how that shit was wild. how can you say up. to a group of kids if you're a drag queen and you Bro, know it please say free palestine yeah and like it was cute or whatever i get it but yo man it's I some my kids very controversial that. takes like i guarantee I can totally see how parents of that school saw that video and lost their goddamn mind. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I'm not even that pick, that kind of person. Like, I don't usually lose my mind. But if even if I was okay with all of that, if I was on Palestine's side and I was okay with drag queens and whatever, if someone was making my kids mm, say, if you're a drag queen and you know it's you free, really I, show it, I would be like, excuse me? Like, what the hell is... 
Yeah. They so, want. Yeah. We cannot necessarily. <laughs> we can't penalize them for the mistakes of one individual. Right. One individual is not a monolith. No more than. Uh, one black person can be a monolith. No more than one white person can right. be a monolith for the white community. You, you can't, you can't look at it and and through that lens. But but that's what happens is they get, people get villainized. That shit was wild though. <laughs> was like glad. that? He needs to be taken off. The job. I am glad that I waited to show you that until the middle of the video. Because please get that man off the job. No more reading books. If I catch that man with a Dr. Seuss novel in his hand. <laughs> It's fucking Just over. Slap it right out of yeah, his hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cause so, wow. Yeah, put put what you think in the comments. You know, I want to hear what people got to say about this. And I'm I'm believe me, I am an ally. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent an ally. That shit was wild. It, I like me too. I'm all about like people doing whatever the hell they want to do with their life. I was like, this is insane. I was, woo. So you got to be careful in your revolution, man got to be careful you've got to be careful when you're dealing with children i mean that, with that's, anything that's the damn truth man. yeah but. like he could have just been out there talking just he could have been a just a regular person in there making kids scream free palestine that's that's, that's wild enough on its own yes <laughs> right? man, that, that, that is crazy because I'm, we're, we're like super we're not even paying attention to the fact that he's putting this political agenda or i'm sorry she's putting her political agenda into it but yes yeah, it's that would have so been wild much. enough. If it was just like a random white lady up there reading, like, all right, kids, let's say free Palestine. Like, would have been terrible. Would have been mad. Yeah. yeah. Been like, and now you're like, my, uh, she, she, she's six. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, right. It's, it's like, woo. Anyways, uh, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. <laughs> we out.